Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this video, we'll be discussing about a watt meter reading calculation, watt meter error calculation, and especially when there are two different types of connections that are used. And this diagram will give you some idea uh, of the watt meter connections. We have a current coil and we have a potential coil. This is the load and this is the supply. Now the arrangements you can see, uh, in this case the potential coil is connected before the current coil, whereas in the second case it is connected after the current coil. So let's see uh, the concept. This is watt meter, it has the potential terminals and the current terminals or current coil terminals like it is shown here. So the current coils are fixed. Uh, this will be in series, but as we mentioned, the potential coils can be connected in two ways. One is shown here, like uh, like this, and the other is that we bring it here and bring this on the other side. So this is the second arrangement. So these are the two possible connections. Okay, now for our ease, let me redraw this. So I have just straightened the line. So this is now um, the simplified version of this. Similarly, in this case also, we'll pull it down. Okay, now I'll be using a term, uh, so you should know. In this case, the current coil is closer to the load or it is in circuit with the load. Whereas in this case, the potential coil is closer to the load. So keep that in point in mind when we use the formula and one of the formula the simplest formula will be that the power given by this meter will be the voltage across the potential coil VPC and current through the current coil ICC but this is not commonly used the commonly used formulas are like this power indicated by the watt meter so power indicated by this watt meter is equal to power consumed by the load so this is the power consumed by the load plus power loss in the current coil so the coil nearer to the load so this coil is nearer to the lo load so the power loss in this uh, is uh, 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 um, taken care of here so this is the formula for the first case and in the second case, I'm sure you can guess now that the power indicated by the watt meter will be the power consumed by the load will remain same. But in this case now the power consumed by the potential coil, so the power uh, loss of power consumed in the pressure coil or the potential coil uh, which is given by V square over RP. So this is the voltage divided by this resistance. Now in this case it was the current multiplied by this resistance. Okay, take a simple example from Mr. Thiraja book. Calculate the load power, which is also called true power. So we have to calculate the power here, power consumed by the load. Watt meter reading is given to be 250. And this voltage uh, is given for the voltage across the potential coil or the voltage across the load, uh, the same voltage. And this you can also redraw, uh, making the line straight. And now, again, we'll use this formula. The power indicated by the watt meter is power consumed by the load and power in the pressure coil because the pressure coil is nearer to the uh, load. Okay, so now this is given 250 that is power indicated by the watt meter is equal to power consumed by the load and this is the power consumed by the potential coil so it is v square over r now in this particular case v is 200 so we will be writing it as 200 square and r in this case is given uh, 2000 so we'll use that so in this case the resistance of this coil has been taken out and written it separately okay and now from here we can easily calculate the power consumed by the load 
simple manipulation the power consumed by the load plus this solving we get 20 watt and so power taken by the load or the consumed by the load is the total power minus 20 watt so it is 230 watt so this is simple the next question is on the request of a student from Bangladesh and here some of the parameters are uh, not given what what is given is the this coil resistance is 6 ohm the potential coil resistance is 9 kilo or 9000 ohms power supply is 150 and the load in the resistance is 150 ohm now uh, keep in mind that the load here is the resistive load okay so in this case also we just draw the uh, simply simply in neat diagram and so power indicated by the watt meter is power consumed by the load and power loss in this circuit which is uh, with the load so power loss in the current coil i square rc now we have to calculate we have to find the value of current only then we can calculate the power loss or the power in the load so let's see how we can calculate the current we know current is total voltage or the supply voltage divided by total resistance we are taking the outer loop so in the resistance in this case is uh, uh, 6 ohms here and 150 ohms here uh, so total voltage divided by total resistance so the current in the coil is 0.9615 uh, ampere okay now we know the current so we can calculate the powers so power indicated is power consumed by the load will be i square r so i square 150 and power consumed in the current coil will be i square into 6 putting the value of i and calculating the power indicated by the meter is 144.25 watt so this is in the first case now let's draw the need diagram for the second case okay now uh, uh, this voltage which is called V in this case uh, which is different from the previous case in the in the previous case V was 150 but in this case V is not 150 and to find the power consumed by the load or by the uh, potential coil we have to first of all find V. So let's see how to proceed. Power formula, power consumed by the load and power loss in the pressure coil which is V square over RP. Now to calculate V, we have to first of all uh, combine this, make a parallel uh, resistance. So the parallel resistance will be 900 in parallel with 150 and which can be solved to get the answer 147.54 and now we can use voltage deviant rule to get the voltage across this so total voltage divided by total resistance and multiplied by this resistance okay so v this v which will also be called vpc and which will also be called v load is the two by voltage deviant rule now total voltage divided by total impedance or resistance and multiplied by resistance across which we are going to find. So by voltage division rule V is now 144.14 and now we can easily calculate the power for the load power consumed by the load we can write V square over R so V square over R is 150 and similarly power consumed by the pressure coil will be V square over the coil impedance which is 9000 so for this and solving in this case uh, we get the power indicated as 140.82 okay so uh, this will I hope give you some idea how you can solve it now let's see another example which will give a much better idea now in this case uh, 
we have the impedances given 0 0.01 ohm resist, uh, resistive value pc coil has 100 ohms the current through the current coil is 20 ampere and the voltage across the load is 200 volts so this uh, all is given uh, so we can first of all and uh, one more thing is given is the power factor now when power factor is given that means this load is no more resistive load rather it is a reactive load so and lagging means it should have resistance and inductance in it okay so again we'll use the same formula now load power we can easily calculate because the voltage across the load is given and the current across the load is given and also the power factor is given so we can write it the load power is vi cos phi v is 200 i is 20 and cos phi which is the power factor is 0 0.8 so load power is um, 3200 watt and now let's calculate the power consumed by the load and power in the coil the current is now given so we can easily calculate the power consumed in the coil is i square rc i is given rc 0 0.1 so this is the uh, power consumed in the uh, coil and now the watt meter reading will be what we have the load power we have the power consumed by this coil so the total reading will be the watt meter reading which is uh, 3204 watt now in this case we'll introduce a new term as to how much is the error now this is the actual or the true power consumed by the load but the meter is showing uh, 3204 so there is an, a difference between the two so we can calculate error by using this formula error is p watt meter reading minus p load divided by p loss so 3204 minus 3200 divided by 3200 so the error is 0.125 percent multiply by 100 to get percent okay so this was for the first part and now for part b same formula but in this case now we'll be using pressure coil the, this one which is near to the load the load power remains the same because V and I and power factor are same in this case also. So the power loss in the pressure coil is V square over RP which is 200. This voltage is 200. It is across this same voltage. So 200 uh, divided by uh, 1000 ohms will give 40 watt. And so the total power here or the watt meter reading will be the sum of the two so 3200 and 40 so 3240 now here again look the actual load or the true load is 3200 but the meter is showing 3240 so let's find the error in this case so error again using the same formula our error is now 1.25 percent so this was 0 0.125 and this is 1.25 so this is or uh, this arrangement is more erroneous in this case so i hope uh, uh, you, you understood how uh, we proceeded with the uh, formulas to solve this problem thank you